I'd like to share with you a moving line in D minor. This will be part of our lines in D minor series. It's an idea that runs scale tones with leaps of a seventh in there to get us back to a beginning point from which we can descend once again. If you've not yet done so, please do subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the content and getting some value out of it. Like and share and leave a comment. It is always good to hear from you. If you'd care to leave me a tip, that would be very pleasant. And my PayPal information is there in the description below. So here's a long line. This is going to be a lot of ear for you, I hope, where you'll hear the line and work out fingerings. I can go over some fingering ideas, but what we want to do is build our intuition into our ears and our fingers about where to go to get these sounds. We're mostly dealing here with the scale that's going to run descent uh, harmonic minor. But you'll notice we're not playing. We're having natural seven with an occasional C sharp in there. So that we hear that sound of A7 to D minor. So if we start here at A, that has C natural in it. A, G, so that's going to be the pattern is we're going to have a, a leap of a seventh. And sevens appear in a couple of ways on the board. I'll go over those as we get to them. So how about 14, 15, 13, 12, 15, 13, 11, 10, and then here's our next starting point, G at the 12th fret. We're going to leap up a 7th again, so a minor 7th. We're going to come down to F. So this was 12, 13, 12, 10, 13, 11, 10, 12. So we went from G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F. And now, coming down to E from F. So F, 10th fret, up to E, 12th fret. And then we're going to get to E and D. So F to E, 10 to 12, 10, 8, 11, 10, 8, 10, 9. And we're going to go back up a seventh. Same idea. So from 10, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F, E. 9, 10, 8, 11, 10, 8, 10, 9. I hope by now you can hear what's going on. So from D to C. get to C-sharp, we're going to leap a sixth from this C-sharp to B-flat, so we get the sound of A7-flat-9. But when we come down, C-sharp, B-flat, 6 and 6, 5, 8, 6, 5, 7, D, and a C natural now. Now we get down to B flat. And now a 7th appears this way. How about 8 and 10, B flat to A? And again with C natural. A, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A. I'm at the seventh fret of the fourth string, and how about A to G again? A, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, F, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A, G, and now we want to go to F. We have a choice here. We can either go F to E here. or down uh, a 
I tend as a as a general rule I don't like to get too down low on the board because we end up not having access to higher notes if we need them and in a contrapuntal kind of improvising fashion if you had the choice here I can reach up to 13th fret pretty simply or 10th fret D minor but if I'm down here no such luck so I tend to try to keep moving to where I have sixth string involved in bass notes with upper pitches. So, so this is kind of a roaming fingering I like, I'll show. Five, six, five. Yes. Five, six, five, and then third finger, seven, five, reach out with third finger, eight, and come with first finger behind it. First finger, we've just shifted four, two, as far as fingers. Six, sorry, five, six, five, seven, five, eight, seven, ten, eight. That would be a good study. Just do that all the way. That kind of thing. Following your ear, having some theory knowledge so you know what notes to avoid, knowing the notes on the fingerboard so you can see where's the B flats, where are the C sharps, where are the C naturals, all this. So from to see natural and go to C sharp with the B flat or C natural with B flat and what are we gonna get E and D, straight across, 7 and 7. D and C, straight across. Now here we are at, at C sharp. Probably that. is able to find that it's getting used to the sound of a sequence getting used to the sound of the tonality that we're in knowing the fingerboard knowing some theory so you know what chords are implied there but I think this is a really see I just got an idea for three notes in a row I left the key for a second. And anywhere along the line, if we introduce, say, F sharp, we're going to go to G minor that way. How about... Uh, I did that in the intro. So coming down from somewhere, instead of going to the diatonic F, how about that F sharp opens the door to G, G minor through D7 flat 9. Oops, sorry, so folks. So I hope this finds you enjoying your music. Maybe there was something here that caught your ear. I did. I tried not to take up too much of your time, but it's about 
ten and a half minutes if you've watched this far. I do really appreciate your kind attention and wish you, as always, a very, very good day.